Hello ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Hat Chalk 2010 here, returning you with I don't know why I paused there for a second. <laughs> but I am returning to you with, you know, what I've been wanting to do and you know the request I've been getting in the inboxes on YouTube. The Walking Dead, Season 1 by Telltale Games. It's actually been a game I've been into ever since I picked it up for the Steam Summer Sale for $6. It was very well worth the buy, and I am very glad that, you know, that, you know, I've, you know, picked this up and played it. And to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, before I get started here, I am not familiar with The Walking Dead. I've never read any of the comics. I've never watched any TV show uh, that is based off the comics. I've only played this game. This game alone have you know has gotten me into The Walking Dead franchise, and you know here I am. So, with that said, let's actually get started for a new game here. We're going to go on ahead and uh, go standard, so I know what the hell I'm looking at. We are going to start with Episode 1, A New Day. And just like on Back to the Future, the game, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to be silent when, you know, there's going to be some talking in the background. I do have subtitles on, just, you know, just in case... But, uh, yeah, so, The Walking Dead, Episode 1, A New Day. And just like The Walking, I mean, not The Walking Dead, and just like Back to the Future of the Game, ladies and gentlemen, this is a point-and-click adventure, and there is going to be some dialogues. However, this time around... Whatever you say, whatever actions you do, whatever you say will tailor. They will tailor the story between each episode. So if you were a dick in episode one, you'll be a dick in episode two. Well, I reckon you did. But I didn't, officer. I didn't do it. I swear it on my mother's day. Oh, wait, hold on. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Followed your case a little bit. You being a Macon boy and all. You're from Macon then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. None taken, old man. I'll just take your life later on. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Now, despite my sarcastic uh, remarks, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to go the good guy route during this playthrough. So, yeah. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? Let's not speak about that, shall we? Let's just look out the window and enjoy the scenery here. You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Or well, maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. <sighs> or maybe it never happened to begin with. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. Looks like some serious shit is going down, though. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. 
and he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Hmm. Interesting. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. I want to watch the road, dickhead. Unfortunately, it looks like we end up in an accident. Oh boy. What a great start. <laughs> end up being in a car crash and everything else. It's it's just wonderful. It's just grand. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we start off uh, our new day in The Walking Dead. <laughs> we take control of Lee Everett. He was being transferred to prison, um, but it seems like that we got off on the wrong foot here. Yeah, it looks in bad condition there, buddy. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Maybe it was tossed from the car. Or the maybe, just maybe. Hey, hey, officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. Well, it's time to make my escape. Doop -dee -doo -doo -doo, doop -doo, doop -doo, let's get out of here. Da -da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 Yeah, I've played this way too many times, ladies and gentlemen, so I know what I'm getting myself into. But I'm not going to spoil anything because there are probably some people out there that's never played the game and can't afford it at the moment. So I want to keep everything as clean as I can. With that said, let's pick up this shotgun shell. This might come into use later. Just call it a hunch. Hmm. It looks like a steamroller has gotten to this guy. But the question is, where's the steamroller? Oh well. Not gonna mind much, just gonna break myself out of prison here. <gasps> do 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 All right. Officer. Yeah, it's called The Walking Dead. What did you expect? <laughs> Just back away. What in the hell? What the fuck are you? Get away from All right. So act fast. We just picked up that shotgun shell. Let's go ahead and take. Oh fuck me! All righty. Pick up that shotgun shell. You don't have much time. And just aim the shotgun. You only have one shot at this, so just aim well and BAM! There you go.
You will be having moments like that a lot in this game, ladies and gentlemen. Who's that up there? Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Oh, I think it's time to make my escape. Exit stage right. Ah! Uh, <laughs> This is all automatic, ladies and gentlemen. I am not controlling this. You don't have to worry about controlling this section whatsoever. And this is where I will, you know, get the most out of graphic hiccups. And I don't know why, to be exact. I know the consoles have it worse, so I can retract what I said on my Walking Dead review. Um, so, yeah. So there's that. shot that gun just saved my life though they may not be alive when I say thanks to them so whoever it is thank you hello anybody well there seems to be this house over here let's see if we can uh, get ourselves acquainted with someone that's living here I wonder if anybody's home. Knock knock. Hello. Anybody home? I need a little help. Hello. There's something going on. Well, guess I'll just uh make myself at home. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? 